Today's video is being sponsored by Instant Gaming. Play smart, pay less. Thank you so much to Instant Gaming for sponsoring today's video. With being a console gamer my entire life, I've only recently moved over to PC gaming and Instant Gaming has been a lifesaver in allowing me to purchase games I've always wanted to play at a reasonable price. Instant Gaming offers discounts on all the most current titles and has massive discounts on our favourite Frontier games including Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo and Jurassic World Evolution. Make sure to click the link above or below in the description to get some amazing games at affordable prices. Again, thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video, but without further ado, let's hop into the video, shall we? Hello, it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the video, and welcome back to Foxy Park, as today we look at Foxy Park Ancient Greece. Now this was created on a PlayStation 4, and as always, if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like, leave a subscribe if you are new, and if you would like to have your park spotlighted, then the Iron Gamers Discord link, the Iron Gamers, will be up above right now. Now, for the last three weeks, we have been looking at this Foxy Park series. We started with Dark Wood, then we had Foxy Jungle, followed by Far West last week. And since I recorded Far West, Tony has released a seventh park in the series, his Arabian area. So this series is going to be extended by one more week. I cannot wait to see what we have in store. But Jan BK has very kindly helped me with a description for this video, as it was in French once again. So the description reads, Bonjour and welcome to Foxyland. This part of the park is the Greek area, which has four rides, Lost Atlantis, Hermes, Olympian Fury and Squidella Greek. Many thanks to the workshop and its creators. There'll be many more things to get you refreshed under the beautiful sun of Greece. And I'll see you soon for upcoming areas. So I am so excited to carry on with this series. So without further ado, let's hop in and have a look around, shall we? So, here we are at the park entrance. Now, like what we did last week in Far West, we're not going to start here. What we're going to do is we're going to zoom over to this area and we're going to start at this gate here. Because in Far West, this section leaded off to the Greek area. So, we're just going to carry on as if we hadn't even stopped. There we go. We'll come through the gates. We'll leave Far West and come into Ancient Greece. Now, today's park is the lowest percentage of all the four parks that I've looked at so far. This is only 39% on a PlayStation 5, so a very small percentage park. We've got a little ice cream stand just here. We've got a Roctopus just to our left. And then just in front of us, we've got a launched Vector Coaster, so a Mac Rides Hyper Coaster. So, looking forward to go on that in a second. I do love this building. I love the style of it. The colouring is very Greek. So we have the Pegasus Hotel. We've got one of NH99 menus just there. NH99 does seem to be one of the creators that you use the most. There's a lot of his things in all of your parks and you've used them so well. And I know that NH99 is a big fan of yours and a big supporter of yours. So, yeah, really nice to see you be able to use his items to such great effect. Oh, look at this. We've got a Pegasus just on top of that. I almost missed that. That's a nice little touch. We have the exit for the coaster just there. We've got another one of your popcorn stands that has appeared in all the parks so far. And these bins that are off the workshop, these have appeared in every single park. But every park, you've changed them to match the theme of the park in question. Look at this, how the coaster just comes right past you. And then that station over there looks sensational. And of course it goes over a water feature, so I'm even happier. Look at the water feature! Love it. So we have the... Uh, oh my days. The Pulp a la Greco. The Pulpe Allegricu. I have so, so said that wrong. I am so sorry. I think we've all learnt by now that Matty is not very cultured. We all know that by now. I'm very sorry. I love this little windmill just at the end there. That's really nice. Yep. Nice use of paint tool just around here. We'll, we'll come back out to the entranceway again. 
We've got more food and drink over here. Carrying on with the tradition, 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 my tradition, English, please. Uh, tradition of the other three parks. Food and drink absolutely everywhere. You really do think about the realism of these parks and the practicality and the fact that they would have food and drink all over the place. I think, do we come to this last, do we think? What shall we do, guys? Shall we go on it? I pre-filmed this, so it's not like your your say is going to have much sway in it. I'm just going to go on it. I can see another coaster over there. We'll be fine. Let's go on it straight away. So we have the Olympian Fury. So a 30-minute wait time from here. As always, not for me. I'm just going to push past. Move out of the way. Move, people. Move, 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 move. Let's skip over the queue there. Got a nice little water feature again there. Lots of water. I'm loving it. And then the station is incredible. Not sure if this one is a workshop item. I'm not sure if this is NH99s or not. Not 100% on that one. But regardless, it's an amazing build. So let's go for a ride on this then, shall we? Enjoy. That was a great first ride at the park. It kept up a great momentum. The banking was spot on. Really nice layout. I like how it goes over the water because of, of course I do. Of course I like the fact that it goes over the water. Yeah, just a great, great ride. Probably the main attraction of this version of the park, of the Greek area. Yeah, great job. I thoroughly enjoyed that. So we'll hop out to the exit. You come underneath the brake run just before it comes into the station just there and let's walk down here and we're back where we were earlier on so we'll skip down here so what have we got here oh we've got the quartet just there ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. come on guys you leave me hanging here why are you not singing the, the show mustn't be on yet there's, there's nobody watching okay We'll leave you to it, as you were, as you were, gentlemen. Just like with all the previous parks, the cohesion that has come over into this park, you can still tell it's the same park, can't you? You can still tell that this is Foxy Park. Very, very different theming, but very much reminiscent of the last three parks and the way you've managed to do that over all the four maps so far has been fantastic that cannot be an easy task to do to have multiple maps but have them looking so similar but different does that make sense i know what i mean i hope everybody else knows what i mean i know what i mean and that's all that matters okay i know what i'm talking about I mean, if anybody hasn't checked out the previous parks, make sure to go and check all of them out. They've been over the last three Fridays, the Foxy Park series. Make sure to look at them all because they're all fantastic. None of them disappoint. So here is the entrance where we would have started originally. It really is a smaller park, this one. It's going to be quite a short spotlight, this one. So we have the Olympian Fury, the... One that I cannot say. I might be able to say it that way. The Pulp a la Grec. Or Pulp a la Greek. I see, I could say it in the description. So, yeah. I think the Pulp a la Greek. And then Hermes. Now, I do know that Hermes is 
NH99 ride. That one I do know for certain because it was one that he entered for a flat ride contest. So as we come down here, we've got the Cascade right in front of us. So the Lost Atlantis. I remember seeing signs for that in one of the other parks. We've got all the seagulls here that are protecting their eggs. So last week we had snakes protecting the eggs. It wasn't last week, was it? It was in the Foxy Jungle, wasn't it? So in Foxy Jungle you had snakes protecting the eggs. This week we've got seagulls protecting the eggs. Did I say pigeons? I don't know. They're seagulls. <laughs> I don't know what I said now. They're seagulls, mate. They're seagulls. We're going to come back to the Cascade shortly. We'll leave that till the very end. So we'll carry on. We've got a park information map just over there. You're going to need the park information with how big this park is when you put it all together. It's huge. Absolutely huge. Got a backstage area just over here. We've got some push chairs just over here. They look like a variant upon Michael's from MJ Games. Push chairs. And as we carry on down here, what is this over here? So, what is that a queue line for? Is that the queue line for the Cascade? It must be, yes. Certainly appears to be. And then, just before we look at Hermes, we've got a Street Fox Coffee just over here. I like how the toilet block is put on the side there, facing that way. I do like that. And then we have this incredible build from NH99. I mean, look at this. Wow. NH99 really does excel at his Greek mythology characters. He's done quite a few of them now, including one for my Flat Ride Water Feature contest. I can't remember what her name was. I, um, I can't remember what her name was. The Goddess of Love. It was a sensational build. And he's done, I think, about three or four different ones now. All of them equally as good as the last. But as we come up this queue line, we've got another water feature just to the left there. This is so good. Where do they go? Oh, hang on. I'm just skipping half the queue. I'm sorry. Look at the sight lines that it gives from here. You can just see out over the whole park. Uh, as we come down here... We have a look at that font. Just what a flat ride skin. So good. I would say one of the best Monte Leon flat ride skins I've ever seen. It's just incredible work. Absolutely incredible work. Yeah. Great job, NH99. Great, great job. And really nice implementation in this park as well tony it works perfect for the theme that you were going for absolutely perfect oh what do we have next week do we have a oh we don't have a tease for next week's park so every other week we've had a tease for what's coming next but we haven't this time so what have we got left we've got three more left we've got the magic area the asian area and the newly released arabian area i think we'll do the magic one next week so I think we'll do the magic one, then we'll do the Asian area, and then we'll end it on the Arabian area in three weeks from now. So, yeah, can't wait to see what Tony has done for the next three parks. But, right, we're here already. Already we're at the final ride of the park. I said this was going to be a short one, didn't I? I wasn't joking. So we have the Lost Atlantis. So let's have a walk down the queue line. Well, we'll skip past that. We'll be fine. And we'll skip past all these as well. So, in we come to the station. Really nice station build. Really like this. Great detailing all in here. So, final ride of the park already. Let's do it. Enjoy, everybody.
for me, that ride was all about them sight lines. Some of the shots of the park you got on that ride was sensational. As you come up this first lift hill here, just look at the shot of the park that you get. It doesn't get much better than that, does it? Yeah, a really enjoyable ride. Great layout. It didn't go on for too long either. I think it was a brilliant ride. Really worthy addition to the Foxy Park series so far. Yeah, amazing job. And that is it. That is the park already. A really, really short park today. Certainly in comparison to the other ones. I think the only bit of feedback that I'm going to give you, and this does lead into what I was saying last week in Far West, I maybe would like to see some shout outs to the workshop items that you're using, to the creators who actually made them originally, because I know that that, it, that was NH99. I do luckily realize most of them. Certainly I didn't realize in the first week, did I, with Mr. Antonio's coaster. But I recognize a lot of the workshop items, but maybe others wouldn't. So I think maybe just a little shout out in the description or in the park itself. Just even if it was a board, um, just noting the workshop items that you've used, just giving credit to the original creators. I mean, that's not to take away from the way that you've implemented them at all. I think your parks have been exceptional. The way that you've put them together and thought about them has been amazing, which is why I've enjoyed the series as much as I have so far. We are four down, three to go. And it's just incredible. The the imagination to create such a huge mega park over multiple maps. It's not an easy endeavor at all. So yeah, full props to you for that. It's certainly something that I couldn't do. I mean, we didn't even look at this lighthouse, did we? Let's have a quick look at this lighthouse just before we wrap up. And we can change to the night lighting around here as well. So really nice lighthouse just there as we're up here let's just change that to night as well shall we so it seems fitting to start by the lighthouse for the night lighting of course you've got the spotlights just coming out of the lighthouse just there and some really nice lighting around the park i like how the stage with the quartet is set up that's some nice lighting right there and the Olympian Fury, maybe a little bit more lighting around there, potentially. It looks a little bit dark. But the rest of the park lit up quite nicely. Maybe not quite as well lit as the previous parks, especially around the pathing. You've got a few little dark areas just around the pathing areas. So maybe a couple more lights around there maybe would just help a little bit. And then you can just see Hermes off in the distance, shining like a beacon. <laughs> the real main centerpiece of this park. But yeah, Tony, another amazing park. Once again, a really worthy addition to the Foxy Park series. And I cannot wait to return next week with the Magic Park. Followed by the Asian Park, followed by the Arabian Park to complete this series. You're going to have to let me know down below in the comments what you all think. But I'll be back very soon for another Planet Coaster Spotlight. Take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, everybody!